Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install MySQL Workbench and MySQL Shell on Windows 10 or 11. So go ahead to Google and type MySQL. Browse down to MySQL.com. Click on the link. Go to Downloads. There you will see this link at the very bottom, MySQL Community. Um, go ahead and go to MySQL Installer for Windows and here you need the second one so go ahead and click on the button to download the file and finally no thanks just start my download okay so we're gonna wait until we download this file and click on it and we'll end up on this screen I'm gonna select the custom installation here that will help me select the components I want to install I'm gonna select MySQL server MySQL workbench MySQL Visual Studio and my SQL shell. So we need all four of them for this tutorial. Now go ahead and click the next button and click execute. Now we're gonna wait until all of this is being installed. Uh, it's gonna take a while. Once you get it to install, click the next button and also click the next button again. We don't need to change anything here. Just notice that my SQL will be running on 3306 port and click next button again here for testing purposes it's not very important I'm gonna create a password which is the word password you might want to make a stronger one for your build um, and just for fun I'm gonna use add user Luna which is the name of your cat and I'm gonna assign password password here as well again something not too strong just for the purpose of this tutorial okay I don't even know what that is in the drop down we probably don't need that so just click OK go ahead and click next button and just notice that by clicking next here we're gonna start the MySQL server now click on the execute button and you're gonna wait for a while until all of those checkpoints have finished executing here I sped up the process a bit for this tutorial but basically when it's done click on the finish button and here again click next okay make sure that both checkboxes remain checked and click finish this is gonna open the console view and also another window which is the, the actual workbench application now we don't really need to do much here at this point um, so go ahead and go to your file explorer and locate the C drive go to program files scroll down find my SQL folder uh, notice how these applications have been installed uh, go into server and bin folder copy that link Make sure you have the bin folder okay copy that now what you want to do is go to the start button and start typing environment variables you'll see this so go ahead and open that go to environment variables button locate path go to edit button go to down a little go to new button and copy and paste that bin folder that we have just copied in the previous step click OK a couple times and open your command prompt type my SQL dash dash version and you will see that we actually successfully installed my SQL server if you see the version here now let's go ahead and log in as root type my SQL dash u root dash p for password it's gonna ask you to enter the password which was password and I've just done that I entered the password and go ahead and type show databases don't forget the semicolon that's important and you will see the system databases currently in MySQL installed by default now we can also add our own database to MySQL server by saying create database again don't forget the semicolon uh, and the name of the database hit enter and let's go back and show databases again 
and as you can see we have just added our own database called Luna uh, at this point pretty much you can go back to workbench and click on this button type the password which was password and go ahead and look around the workbench there's a lot of stuff you can do this tutorial is not going to cover everything but pretty much this is how you run my SQL with workbench on Windows 10